Hello and welcome back everyone. My name is Liam Srenti and I'm the Trauma and Attachment Specialist with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Calgary. Tuning in to you on Tuesday, May 19th. A little bit of rain outside. I love it. I apologize to all of you who do not like the rain. Um, getting to see nature kind of taking all that moisture it needs so we can get some bloom and some green going. That's, that's a nice, uh, nice element for me. Um, also cools things down a little bit. I'm not a huge heat person, so um, I like the rain. So again, apologize for all of you who are like, why is Liam saying he really likes the rain? It's dreary, boo. Um, it's kind of fun sometimes. We don't get a lot of it, so I like it. Uh, welcome. Welcome back. Welcome if this is your first time tuning in. Uh, I like to put out weekly check-ins just to see how people are doing in their lives, how they're managing. Uh, through COVID-19, our collective crisis, as we're all reeling and dealing and figuring out how, how to live our lives day to day, week to week, with all the changes uh, and more changes to come in terms of things opening back up and what are the new rules? How do we navigate physical distancing in this new world? What can my kids do? What can I do with my family? Um, so more changes, more changes, right? And so I hope that you are all giving yourself enough time and patience to take care of yourself as you move through more changes in society and trying to figure out how you're going to navigate day to day and week to week as we go through uh, into the summer. Uh, today I wanted to talk about um, something that I th I'd kind of forgotten about until I was reminded by a, a young friend of mine who at the beginning of this pandemic um, I, I mentor this uh, young individual, he's 11, um, amazing, amazing character, um, love this kid to death. He is not a big school fan. He loves his video games. And one of the things I thought about in the beginning was, you know, I'm not going to spend our time doing schoolwork together necessarily. I'm not going to spend our time kind of like trying to put all necessarily the expectations I would hope for him to learn at a pandemic. I'm like, hey, like maybe we can teach you how to like build origami or like do math a little bit better or learn some new vocabulary words. Um, I actually wanted to know what he wanted to do as an opportunity through this pandemic and spending more time, whether it's at home, maybe he could highlight a new skill or enhance a skill he already had. And so one of the things we talked about in the beginning of this pandemic when he came over was I said, you know, like, what are some goals that you have? And he looked at me kind of funny. I'm like, what? what do you mean? I said, like, at the end of this pandemic, when we can kind of return to some normal what do you hope to have done? I said, like, is there anything that you would like to do more of, less of, get better at? And so we had a conversation. So his two goals were actually related to things that he's involved with. is like social media. He likes his TikTok account and getting some followers and uh, upping his Fortnite game. And I was like, cool. And the really neat thing about that was that those goals and what he wanted to do came from him. It wasn't me throwing things out there, dangling you know, some like, uh, um, some efforts that I thought would be better for him to do. It was, it was him, it was his word, it was his voice and his choice in that. And so I checked in with him for the first few weeks and I forgot about it. And then he actually brought it up and we were kind of uh, hanging out this weekend and he was talking about his TikTok account and what he's been putting on. And he actually got, has like three of the three times the amount of followers than he had put on his goal. He wanted to have like a hundred followers uh, he's into the few hundreds now, really excited, and he's been getting that by doing something that he likes to do, which is posting some videos about like him doing some parkour and some movement. So he's taken something that you know some people might see you know as annoying because it's social media and kids being on it, uh, and he took it and he just went with it and he got to achieve a goal. And so one of the things I want to throw to you parents out there and even to your kids is, um, what are some things that you've been working on? And if if you haven't really thought about that too much, is as we're still uh, going through a collective crisis in this global pandemic, um, maybe check in with your kids and see, is there anything that they would hope to do or to build some sort of goal um, or effort that they want to look into? And maybe that's something that you can help them with. And maybe that's something that you can put into some tangible tasks and efforts. Um, and have some some freedom with that. See if see if you can actually get them to, to speak what it actually is they want to do. Um, and challenge yourself to help them out in those efforts. Because uh, we ask them to do a lot on our expectations and the school expectation, but 
uh, it's nice to kind of hear from them, right, uh, what they would like to do. So leave you with that. Uh, it was really nice to check in with all of you today. If you like the rain like me, hopefully you get outside, maybe splash in some puddles, maybe some worms will come out, go explore with the kids. Um, if not, hunker down, the rain will pass, and we'll have some beautiful greenery and some flowers popping up soon enough. So um, take care, everyone. Boys and Girls Club of Calgary, we're still here, kind of behind the scenes, doing what we can to support all of you out there. Um, take care, everyone. We'll see you next time.